I just saw that Goodwill Finds is running a clearance sale of up to 75%. As you can tell, we've got it pulled up here, but I'm not going to go to the shop now. I'm going to actually just go to the electronics section where the video games are because we both know that's what we really care about. And for whatever reason, it's always a pain to get to the video games, and I don't understand why, but it is what it is. We're going to consoles. As you can see, there's a filter here, and you can filter it by discount, which will give you the clearance, 55, 530, blah, blah, blah. So let's go ahead and open up just the filter for the clearance section and see if we can find any good games here or if this is going to be a big stretch. Now, right off the bat, I see this Guitar Hero guitar for Aerosmith for the PS2. And I almost bought this just solely because it looks like it was a great deal until I got to the shipping and it was like $100 shipped, which is absolutely crazy. It would have been a good deal if it was like 10 or $15 shipped, but for whatever reason, getting it from, where was this, California? I, oh, Washington. Northwest Washington, to me, was just super expensive. My guess is they're probably overcharging, but we will move on here. We've got Connect Sport Star Wars for eight nine eight thirty eight, which is 30% off. That might not be that bad, I do have this game back there on the shelf. I don't know. It's right next to Mario back there down. The very last game is what this is. And it looks like it's going for $6.50. So it's a little bit overpriced, but we're going to find some good deals here, hopefully. Ooh, I may have said that too early because this is really, really rough. You've got a Sega Genesis bundle, not tested. So who knows if it works or not. That's a little weird that they didn't test it. Down from $120 to $96. Now you do get two games there, but it being untested gives me weird vibes because most of these places, if they test it, they'll let you know. Um, and this Washington one usually does test things from what I've seen in the past at least. So um, yeah, saying not tested kind of gives me weird vibes. 20 bucks for a Kinect, that's not bad. That's about what they're worth. Um, I did notice that there's a bunch of bundles here and I think this might be the best way to find deals here. More Atari flashbacks, some headsets. Um, again, some Kinect stuff. Ooh, this actually isn't that bad of a deal. Now, don't get me wrong, the games probably aren't... Oh, it's untested. Maybe not. Let's see how much that Xbox 360 Kinect is worth. I'm thinking like 20 bucks, if I remember correctly. Let's see. I'm just going to turn it on for Xbox 360. That way I can clear out some of that other stuff. The power... Oh, nope, that's not it. Uh, the sensor. 15 bucks, so... It might be worth the risk if you need one. And then the Michael Jackson experience and Dance Central can't be worth that much. Let's see if either one of those are on here. Um, I don't know. If you need to connect, this might not be a bad deal. It says untested again, which is a little weird, but it is what it is. I'm sure if you got it and it was broken, you could probably return it, but I don't know. Maybe not, actually, now that I say this. This game is actually, or this bundle of games, is actually probably not bad if you're trying to grow a game collection. 40 bucks for five Xbox 360 games. It is what it is. You've got some good games there. You've got Army of Two, Fallout New Vegas, which might have gone up in price. Let's see how much this is going for. I haven't looked this up in a while. And of course I spelled it wrong. Don't don't judge me for that, please. Nine bucks by itself. Okay, you got Needs for Speed The Run. I don't think I've ever actually played that. Seven bucks. So maybe this one isn't a great deal, but it's about what it's worth. So you're not overpaying at least, but I gotta do one thing. I saw this when I was looking. The price high to low was absolutely insane look at how expensive these wii bundles are 
I'm gonna pull up just the top three. It's gonna blow your mind. Something's wrong or weird here. A lot of two untested Nintendo Wii consoles for $8,000, but it is 20% off. You're saving two grand, which is just blows my mind. Something is definitely wrong here. They haven't been tested. Someone messed this up, right? Like two Wiis for eight grand, unless there's something special about those Wiis, which I'm not seeing. Seven grand for a Wii is just super crazy. I don't understand why they are doing this. Let's see. It even is for parts or for repair. It hasn't been tested, which maybe they don't test anymore. This one used to, but maybe not. Again, somehow this one's $700? I'm not quite sure where they're getting the value. Someone messed up, right? Like, uh, these are crazy. An Xbox One for 300. Okay, that might be more realistic. It's too, pro too expensive and overpriced, but okay, whatever. Um, you got a PSVR. This is the first one, not the second one. So 360 bucks down to 288. It's still way too expensive. I know it's boxed. I feel like it's still probably way overpriced. I haven't looked up the VR by itself boxed in a long time. So we'll just have to see if this is actually going to be worth the money. Honestly, I can't see it being worth it. Yeah, see like the headset itself is worth like a hundred bucks, which is still a lot considering what that thing is and how old it is this deal isn't it's not the best deal but you're paying 10 bucks a game i would love to see this at less than 100 because this is a donated item there oh they do say it powered on which i don't know I'm assuming they played them all and made sure it at least worked, but unless there's something crazy in here, which I'm not seeing right off the bat, if I miss something, leave a comment, but 250 bucks for that is just crazy to me. Um, There are some crazy expensive, like Silent Line Armored Core. I don't know how much this one's worth. Not a game that I'm looking for, to be honest with you. I don't know how if I spelled that right either. So armored core. Oh, hey, I might have pulled it up. No, let's look it up again. I spelled that way wrong, but that's fine. I'm not too upset about that. How much is it for the PlayStation? 70 bucks complete. Or you could buy it from Game or Goodwill. I almost said GameStop. I don't know what that's about. Or you could buy it from Goodwill, fully tested, for $225. That's like four times the price. It's three and a half times. Give me a break there, but it's absolutely insane. Obviously, there's going to be some consoles here that are maybe fairly priced, maybe a little overpriced. Um, A GameCube with two games. What are those games? Because that'll definitely matter. I would be interested to see what games are even with this. Does it show? I'm not sure if it's going to. Oh, there they are. The Polar Express and Chicken Little. Not worth the money. So let's see. No way. This is crazy right here. Does it say how many there are? It's literally just those six. Knock off, knock off, knock off, switch, switch, switch. But I think these are like third party switch things. These are obviously third party. These are like licensed ones. For 145 bucks, Goodwill has lost their mind. Whoever's pricing these is just doing a terrible job. I mean, 129 bucks for a PS4 Slim with Uncharted 4. Maybe not a bad deal if it works and is tested. I just saw something we'll talk about it in a second. It is tested. It it works. It was factory reset. I can't be mad about this one. 129 might be a little too expensive, but it's not like the rest, but we got to talk about this. Nintendo Labo open box for $125. That's more than this cost brand new. And I'm sure that something's missed. Has this been used? Yeah, the cardboard is missing. Oh my goodness, they're selling Nintendo Labo with the missing cardboard. Like right there is where it normally is, right? I'm not tripping, right? This was used. This was definitely used, right? If I'm wrong, comment down below, but that blows my mind. I think these Xbox One bundles aren't too bad of a deal. They're not great by any means. <sighs> I probably wouldn't pick them up. 
You can probably find these on Facebook Marketplace for way cheaper. Is this just the boxes? They think they hit gold here. Games not included. Collectors boxes only. There's no way. It's literally just four games. These games are, these boxes are probably like 60 bucks. Let's do it. Let's do the math here. Let's go ahead and head over and see if we can, I don't think we'll be able to get 60 bucks out of it, to be honest with you. Let's go ahead and pull up the Game Boy. Let's see how much the box is going for. 35, okay. If we, that's gonna be the reason we hit it if it is. I don't think the rest are gonna be worth that much. 35 is way more than I thought it would be. So I'm a little surprised there. Uh, this Yoshi, is it gonna be worth some? Ooh, okay, 30, so that's 65. I was already wrong. I undershot this, but the chess master can't be that much. It's just a pretty basic game there. Let's see, let's see, let's see. We're up to $65. I bet this is like a $10 box max. $13, I was wrong again. I'm underselling these and then that puts us up to what? 78 and then we've got Caesar's Palace. There's no way that this is worth that much. Five bucks, so we're at like 80 to 85 dollars. And they want 120 for it. You know what they did is they saw it was Game Boy and was like, oh, it's old, it's retro. We've got to price it over the top. And they did that. I think we need to find some actual good deals here. So I'm going to go ahead and swap it over to like deepest discount and see if we can find anything that's really worth it because this does say up to 75 percent and this top one should be the most discounted at 54 percent such a bummer now i know there's probably something that's 75 percent off and they're saying it but it's a bummer seeing it like this overwatch for 18 bucks is probably overpriced here um i will say that if you are trying to grow a game collection and you don't have much money some of these aren't terrible deals if you can get them while they're hot like this one $27 for six games you're paying five bucks a game are some of them worth it like Madden I think Madden 12 actually might be let me maybe not maybe that's too old what is it for the PS3 it's five bucks I was dead wrong forgive me for that it is, but it is worth the five bucks so eh, whatever moving on there's gonna be some PS2 games here Again, this is a solid lot, actually. What is, first off, people are gonna talk bad about Tiger Woods Golf. Those golf games are awesome if you like golf or wanna play them. Uh, they're definitely well worth picking up. They are dirt cheap and actually stand up somewhat to time, uh, but hear me out there. Uh, then we have Hot Shots Golf, another golf game. We've got Star Wars Jedi Starfighter, which is definitely worth the money itself. I bet that that makes up its Jedi Space Starfighter, uh, whatever. Forgive me, forgive me, forgive me. Please don't roast me in the comments too hard. You can if you want to, I guess, but. Oh, wow. That game's only worth six bucks. That's a shame because that game is awesome. 15 bucks for this, not a bad deal. Not an amazing deal, but if you're growing your collection, again, same thing here. Uh, if you're going to PS2 collection, Mass Mad Maestro? What is that? I've never even heard of that game. Let's see if it's even worth the money. Seven, eight bucks? I mean, eight bucks if it's complete. That's half your money right there. It's complete. That's definitely well worth picking up if you are interested. I don't know if Magics is worth much money either. Magics. I don't know if it changed it or if I did, but Magic's Music Maker. Wow, I'm doing a terrible job at spelling. It doesn't even exist. Okay, well, there's some, I mean, $12. This is an ad for eBay, but still, I mean, that's definitely worth the 15 bucks if you've got it and you're growing a collection. So I wanna see if they have any GameCube stuff here. I don't know what it is, but this summer, I've been finding a ton of GameCube stuff. So we're gonna have to see if there's any GameCube discounted games. Maybe there is, maybe there isn't, but the filter button will work. I don't know what that's doing. There's only two on sale and clearance. I'm gonna go ahead and add these other two as well, 10 or 15% off. It is not the clearance sale, but it is discounted. So we'll give it there. We've got a GameCube 
for 60 bucks untested. That's a little much. Got that GameCube Power A controller for 20 bucks, but it is missing the battery pack. Mario Power Tennis for $23. And then we've got a random GameCube. Uh, let's see what Mario is worth. That Power Tennis game. I haven't looked it up in a while. 25 bucks. I mean, there's a discount to be had there. Obviously, if you are wanting to like do something crazy, you could do that. I don't I don't want to look at anything that's not on the discount sale. So I'm getting out of here as quick as I can because I started to see stuff that I was interested in. Again, more lots of games. If you're looking for PS4 games or like Xbox 360, Xbox One games or PS3, I think maybe ps2 and xbox original as well if you can get lots of four or five games for five bucks a piece if they've been tested and are working it's definitely well worth it to like kickstart a collection like here you go here's a great example ps2 games 15 dollars, and you've got ghost recon which is great you've got power drone which is a decent game star wars battlefront 2 now i know it's not worth that much money it's probably like 15 bucks by itself, I think. Uh, and then you have that Madden game, which no one really cares about. Let's be real here. But you do have Battlefront, which is a pretty solid, solid game. It's worth 10 bucks. It came down a lot, actually. I thought that was a lot more. Nah, maybe not. Let's see. That's not as high as I thought it was. But it's a $10 game and a lot of four games for 15 bucks. A great way to start a collection. You've got these PS5 games right here. Every single one, well, these two on the left are banger games. These are not so much. You got Skyrim there, Dark Void, Star Wars 2 Legos. Those are some good games. I don't know too much about Dark Void, actually, now that I say that. So if you're looking to grow a collection, it's definitely the place to do it. But I want to see... One last thing, if they have any consoles, just like handheld consoles or something like that that are on sale. I was gonna say, obviously, I'm always looking for handhelds or something like that, but not this junk. 180, 172 bucks is way too much for that. However, that is the optimal Xbox 360 if you're trying to buy one. Those Slims are awesome. I wonder if these are untested or if they tested them and they didn't work. Let's see what it says. For repairs. Yeah, so it doesn't say whether they tested it or not, which means they probably did. And also these things look disgusting, but they may not have... What happened to this one? This guy's not working. We already know if you bought this, this guy's not working. This one might... You might get enough for one console, but for 50 bucks, it's a little too pricey there. 50 bucks for an Xbox 360, but it is the arcade. Those are the ones with the red ring, so shy away from those, but I'm seeing some good games. We got Quake 4 and Far Cry. Then we've got, um, what is that? Gears of War 2, I believe. I didn't mean to click it. Gears of War 2, yep. And Battlefield 3, I mean, these are some good games with these consoles, so oh wait hold on am i gonna end up accidentally buying something i'm thinking i might do that for a video in the future so comment down below if i should if you've made it this far in the video there's a ton of bundles here a blue th ds i do have one of these unfortunately so i'm not in the market for it but i feel like this isn't actually that bad of a price nintendo ds blue let's see let's see let's see switch it over to ds 38 bucks they've got it for 36 i mean if you're buying some stuff and you add that on that's not a bad deal there 37 dollars for this ps1 okay like i can get behind that as a deal now does it work oh it's untested it has one of those fan controllers oh my goodness i but if i remember correctly maybe this isn't the one but they used to have those controllers with fans in them to cool your hands. I've got one over there somewhere, but let's see if there's anything else on this page before we get out of here. 47 is meh. Again, 47. If these were like 30 or 35, we'd be closer, but I think that's a good spot to end it with. We dug through some of the Goodwill finds clearance deals, and some of them are okay. Some of them are terrible. Like who's spending $8,000 on goodwillfinds.com? I definitely am not, and hopefully you aren't either. If you've got that kind of money, 
don't spend it at Goodwill. But I'm getting out of here, so check that video out if you haven't already. Also, if you want to see me go through their website and try to actually buy stuff and find deals, comment down below and let me know because I think there's definitely games and deals to be made here, but you really have to dig through these pages and pages of games that they have. But in the meantime, I'm getting out of here because I got to go play some games. So check out that video out if you haven't already.